This project is called an angle bracket, and I can see from the drawings that most of the surfaces are parallel to my existing horizontal and vertical sketch planes, except for this back edge that's angled at 60 degrees. So we'll look at the process of creating a new sketch plane at an angle to our existing features. I'll start a new part studio, and this is in millimeters. Start a new sketch, and I'll put this on the front sketch plane. I'm going to use a corner rectangle and start from my origin. And this is going to be 150 millimeters long. This is this base part in the center and 20 millimeters. So that's a profile. And I have another rectangle for this part that goes up. This is going to be 20 by 60. And that's fully defined. I'll accept that sketch. Go to isometric. I will extrude this profile. And I want to use a symmetric extrusion. This has a width of 80, I believe. And that creates my first base feature. Next we'll add the fillets on this uh, vertical end. So I'll use my fillet tool from the feature menu. These are 20 millimeter rounded edges on this edge and on this edge. So I'll choose that. Start a new sketch to place the holes and that will be my work sketch plane on the uh, parallel to that end, view normal. And I can see these lines lighting up. They will be available, so I'll use a, a center point circle. Coming down here, I can see uh, the snap point for the center of that radius I used for the fillet. I'm going to create or snap to coincident to that center point. These are 15 millimeter diameter holes. And I'll put another hole over here. I can see the snap point um, of the center of that fillet. And I want both of these holes to stay equal, so I'll use an equal constraint and set them equal to each other. With that, I'll accept this sketch. Go to isometric, create my extrude, choose these two. Uh, circles that will be the hole. I want to remove the material. I want this to be through all so it goes to the other side and I'll accept that. So I have through holes. Next we want to create this angled end. To do that I'm going to add an additional sketch plane. Now I have some options of the kind. I want to use a line angle. This means that if I choose a line in this case, I'm going to choose this back edge. I can create a new sketch plane, and the angle can be here. I can drag to see this angle, and you can see it being created. Uh, I could drag it to the angle that I want, or I can enter it from the keyboard, and we wanted this angle to be 60. So I can see that, and I'll accept that. And it shows up here on my uh, feature list as a, an additional plane. So we can see this new plane here. We'll start a sketch and we want to be on our new sketch plane. I'm going to make this normal, view normal. I want to be able to snap to points on this edge. So I'm going to use my use project tool and make sure that that line is available while I'm sketching on this plane. I'll use a line and this is going to be snapped to the middle coincident to that and it will have a height of 95. From this endpoint, I'm going to come to the right and 
I'm going to wake up that point because I want this to be the same width. And there we are. I'm going to escape and now choose a three-point arc. It'll start on this end point. It's going to be, the other end is going to be coincident to the width and it's going to have an arc out here. I can see it snap when it becomes tangent. So I'll choose that. And this has a radius of 20. And that angle's created. So now I just need another line to connect from that endpoint down to this endpoint. And I can see that the region uh, has become closed. Now there's a hole in the center of this that's a has a radius of 20 or a diameter of 20 millimeters. So I'll get a center point hole, choose the center here. And this has a diameter of 20. And escape that. Now the other side is exactly the same as this. So I'm going to use a mirror. And it wants me to select a mirror line. I'm going to use this edge as the mirror line. And then the entities to be mirrored. I'll use a window. And I see them mirrored to the other side. We'll accept that, right click, escape mirror. So I can see that I've created the sketch and it's fully constrained, I'll accept that. So I uh, will choose an extrude. We're going to be adding this to the surface and I'll choose these two sketches for my profile. This has the same thickness as the rest of the part, so it's 20 millimeters thick. That looks correct, I'll accept it. So now I've created this back angled section. Lastly, I want to put in a rib. And this rib, because I uh, my first extrusion was symmetric, I can use this plane, this front plane, to find the middle of my object. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane. We will view normal to the front plane. I need to use a point here at this end and a point where that plane intersects on that end so that I can draw a line coincident to these two edges. And that finishes my sketch. I'm going to use this sketch to create a rib. In this case, I'll use my rib tool. It wants a sketch profile, so we're going to choose that line. This is a 10 millimeter wide rib. And you can see that it is created symmetric along that line on that front plane. We'll accept this. And that finishes my part. I can turn off the planes. And I'm done.